This is TFNN, the Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN, headline news update. Welcome, folks. We had the Dow Industrials finish up 222, NASDAQ, NASDAQ up 61, S&P's up 21, all all-time highs. Small caps, folks, pretty amazing. IWM could only be up 84 cents, didn't even get over the high of yesterday. So uh, small caps still dead in the water. If we go do uh, take a look at this S&P, what you're going to see uh, inside the S&P also is that it's getting away from the top of the range. Uh, we've uh, sit here, uh, sat here seven days. Uh, it broke out today. Bottom line, no volume, but you get the breakout happening. Gold, gold contract down $6, trading at $1,467. We had inside that gold market, folks. We went up on Wednesday. We went up on Thursday with volume. We had the price spread. You pull back today with light volume. You reject lower price at $1,462. That's saying gold wants higher price once again. Uh, the number to keep your eye on next week is going to be the $1,470. 1470 gets you in the higher range. We got over it. We went into it yesterday with volume. We backed down today with lighter volume. Notes and bonds, bottom line, pretty amazing. Higher price, lower yield. They backed down today with tremendously lighter volume. Uh, they both are also in the higher range right now. And this is after, of course, notes as well as bonds getting smoked from the uh, beginning of October all the way down to uh, the, basically the, uh, about six days ago. Um, with the 10 year right now is at 1.832 once again. That had gone up as high as 1.94. The 30 year, we take a look at the 30 year, same type of setup inside the 30 year. What we had is this, you got slammed down from the beginning of October uh, to about the, the second or third of November. You come off that level, you've tested, you've tested the high volume day on the way down, you go back inside the range, the range inside the 30-year, higher range this is, is 157.17. We closed out the week at 158.09. What is that saying? That's saying, guess what, folks? Higher price, lower yield. The amazing thing out here today, folks, is this, is that you're at all-time highs, and they couldn't whack the bond market. I mean, this is so unusual that, you know, you, you have to have it as a heads up, okay? Bottom line. No sellers in the bond market. S&P's at all-time high. NDX 100 at all-time high. NASDAQ at all-time high. Dow Industrials at all-time high. Small caps dead in the water. Have a great weekend, folks. Have a safe weekend, and we look forward to speaking right back here. Monday morning, 9 o'clock, with our man, Mr. Larry Pesavento. Have a great one.